Hello amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. Welcome to the channel. So somebody asked me the question, what certificate should I get to become a pen tester? And that's a really good question because there are several certificates that you can get and we're going to go over some of them. But of course, I want you to do your own research as well into these. But I'm going to tell you my experiences with the certificates that I've gone through um, and going to tell you some certificates that I was thinking about going through as well. And why I didn't take them and, and might help you. So first of all, obviously OSCP, something that I highly recommend because you have to prove your skill level in a, a 24 hour exam. You have to hack five machines. I got the certificate when LDAP wasn't included yet. The DV days LDAP is also included. So that's also a big plus. But this is a proven certificate. It's going to give you value in the job market. And that's what you're after, I think. So OSCP definitely recommend it. Now the second one is Certified Ethical Hacker and a lot of people will recommend against this because they say it's more theoretical knowledge. But I say it's still important to have that theoretical knowledge because you and I still need to talk the same language when we're talking about hacking. We still need to make a good report. We still need to know what we're talking about. So I definitely wouldn't recommend against it. It's more of a beginner certificate in my opinion. Um, but they have done a lot in recent years to improve, like they have um, done a lot more to do some more practical questions that are more relevant to the field. So it's definitely a good exam. I would highly recommend you at least think about taking. Then there's also the EGPT, E Junior Pen Testing Certificate that you can take. But I think it's part of a bigger course right now of a bigger hole that you have to buy. So I would be hesitant against that because I don't know about the other courses, but AGBT definitely has some value because of course your employees are going to recognize it in the field, they're going to look it up and they're going to see a proven certificate. Now there has been a lot of things going around about the Cyber Mentor certificate as well, because he made a certificate and people have two opinions about it. Some people completely love it and some people hate it. They say it has no value. It has no practical proven value, but I say against it. Okay. It doesn't have any proven practical value in the sense that OSCP has proven practical value. It's been there for ages, but it still has some technical value and quite a lot of it in my opinion, because of the things you learn in his course, are very in-depth. They go into a great syllabus, in my opinion. So there's nothing wrong with the certificate. It's just that it's not as recognized yet. But in my opinion, it's still a great certificate. Um, if you want to really become a pen tester, in my opinion, you know it. OSP important. Certified ethical hacker might be a good idea. AGPT might be a good idea. And you might as well, if you have the money for it, and if you have like a training budget like I do, you might as well spend it also on these timer mentors uh, certificate if you have the training budget for it of course which goes for all of these courses because they are paid and in my opinion some of these courses i'm not going to name names but some of these courses are asking quite a lot of money these days which i don't appreciate guys that is not how i like to do things of course i like to ask money for my courses as well but as you know it will never reach into the thousands of dollars at least that's not my that's not my intention at all so i hope this helped you guys a little bit thank you for asking that comment great question and i hope i will see you guys in the next one bye amazing hackers